Contemporary art as part of our daily activities has reached greater heights because of technology. How are you coping with the way life is these days? Glad you're doing great. I hope that you have learned a lot from our lessons. Hello, senior high school learners. Let us marvel at the great works of artists here in our country. Join me. I'm your art tita, Teacher Joanne, and you are learning with me here in Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. What makes Philippine arts? That is what I most often hear from discussions among artists and educators. What makes art distinctively Filipino? How can the comprehension of elements and concepts empower us in understanding contemporary art? These are the questions that you may be able to answer at the end of our learning session. The combination of the Philippines being an archipelago and our rich cultural heritage that dates back to the pre-colonial times have made us unique and different from the rest of the world. The influence of our neighboring Asian countries and the Western world has been mixed with our indigenous traditions, thus making contemporary art. Taipan Lucero, a fine artist, used his experience in Japan studying calligraphy and his ardent nationalism to come up with his own version of writing and painting texts that he calls Caligra Filipino, an adaptation of the Baybayin for contemporary times. So, yung, yung mga initial graphic design ko is, I think, medyo modern din siya dahil nagustuhan ng mga kabataan, nagustuhan ng mga, uh, mga millennial. So, in the form of t-shirts, in the form of logos, in the form of tattoos, I think medyo modern naman yung interpretation ko ng baybayin. Nagiging modern siya dahil parang nire-relate ko siya sa mga items or icons na alam ng mga tao, mga kabataan. Katulad ng may ginawa akong design na with the Ibong Adarna, alam yun ng mga tao. And mga words na relatable para sa atin, mga inspirational words tulad ng mga Maharlika, Malaya, Tapang, mga ganun. So, yun, isa sa mga aspeto kung paano siya nagiging modern is, I think, relatable siya sa mga tao, sa mga kabataan. Caligra Filipino is a combination of something that is traditional that has been infused with new ideas, thus producing contemporary art at its best. Since we have started our journey together in our lessons, I have been informing you about contemporary arts and we have agreed that contemporary art is an art made at present. In our previous lesson, we have already discussed the elements and principles of contemporary art, namely, appropriation, performance art, space, technology art, hybridity. Today, we are going to expound on these elements and principles further by showing you examples of how these are being used to inspire you to conceptualize your own. We can take art from the past and recreate it in a new context using unconventional methods and using a combination of contemporary art elements. Appropriation is to borrow or to reuse existing components of modern work. It is the process of making new content by taking pre-existing images from another source and incorporating or combining them with the new ones. We have shown you great examples with the visual arts from the work of the masters. The Moving Spolarium is a piece of art made by our very talented production team. It was shown in our first episode. The great work of Juan Luna the spoliarium was used in appropriation, and using technology art, it was digitalized and animated. This digital animation has helped us understand the hidden message of the spoliarium. The message of Juan Luna's spoliarium is all about oppression and social injustice, which is still the battle cry in today's art scene. 
Although it was painted more than a hundred years ago, the spoliarium's message and that of the contemporary artists remain the same. Contemporary art focuses more on the personal expression and the meaning of the artwork for the artist, but it is still created using traditional art principles and elements. Here is an example of digital art that combines 2D and 3D animation using pixel art as a medium. John Clister Santos, a multimedia and animation student, came up with the Spoliarium from 2K20 as his class project and as a tribute to the work of one Luna, the Spoliarium. Appropriation is very evident in his work. The work of Juan Luna made a huge impact on this digital artist. Using appropriation, art is seen as a powerful tool in sending a message. Just like it was before during the political activism of Luna, the message for a call for change remains the same. On the brighter side, using appropriation, the paintings of national artist Fernando Morsolo have come to life through technology and digital art in the contemporary artwork of Braille Flores, a multimedia artist that pays tribute to the work of the master. The late national artist Fernando Morsolo was well known for his paintings depicting rural scenes and portraits of Filipinos with his distinct style of using light the tropical sunlight, as seen here in his animated paintings. Among his more than 10,000 pieces of artwork, he only used the rain once in his painting. Amorsolo's paintings showed his appreciation and delight in the beauty of the Filipina. Aside from being inspired by that beauty, he frequently used the faces of his family members as references for his paintings. Contemporary artists challenge the norms in art production. They always think outside the box, using common materials, experimenting, and turning their vision into reality. Moreover, contemporary artists challenge the thoughts and emotions of viewers they send a hidden message not just seen in the art itself. Have you noticed the elements of contemporary arts from the videos of our friends from Escalante City? In the video, we see an example of performance art. Performance art puts together art activities that are presented to a live audience that combine music, 
dance, poetry, theater, visual art, and video. The element of drama is heightened or often the acting is developed to convey the extremes of expression. I have two favorite contemporary artists who work together on various projects. Leroy New, a fine artist experimenting on his visions of aliens and other forms. And J.K. Anikoche, a performance artist who directs the theater community, the Sipat Lawin Ensemble. Together, they will show us their perception of what it is like in the afterlife. Here is a video of their performance art taken by Krista Garcia. Viewing such a shocking performance, does it leave an impression on you to do good or else suffer? The performance we have viewed is combined with the use of space. In that performance, we got to see the use of space as it was a performance that was site-specific inside the Museum of Contemporary Art that also incorporated sound installations to enhance the reality and feel of the performance. That space is utilized indoors, while artworks outdoors on display are called public art that is for public to use for gatherings in an open space where art viewers see the presentation of artwork. In Ililikha in Baguio, national artist for film and broadcast arts Kid Latahimik lets viewers watch his film, but then he leaves a portion of his film unfinished and performs in front of the audience instead. Here is an example of his performance. Such a delightful experience to be in the presence of a legend. Creativity continues to flourish as many artists use various materials aside from traditional mediums to come up with a new art. Hybridity is breaking free from traditional distinct boundaries between artistic media such as painting, sculpture, film, performance, architecture, and dance. Art critics define hybridity as cross-breeding art and other disciplines like science, literature, pop culture, and of course, art with technology. Endless possibilities can happen. Take time to think and see things differently and you will find the art and art form that will spark your creativity. Let's review the concepts that we've learned in our topic today. I will give you 5 seconds to think the topic over. It is the art of today produced by the artist of today. A. Appropriation B. Contemporary C. Hybridity D. Space The correct answer is B. 
contemporary. 2. It is the process of making new content by taking a pre-existing image from another source such as books on history, ads, the media, and incorporating or combining it with new ones. A. Appropriation B. Contemporary C. Hybridity D. Space The correct answer is A. Appropriation 3. It refers to art activities that are presented to a live audience and can combine music, dance, poetry, theater, visual art, and video. A. Technology B. Appropriation C. Performance D. Space If you answered C, performance, you are correct. 4. It is an art of transforming space. A. Technology B. Appropriation C. Hybridity D. Space The correct answer is D. Space 5. It is the usage of unconventional materials, mixing of unlikely materials to produce an artwork. A. Technology art. B. Appropriation. C. Hybridity. D. Space. The correct answer is C. Hybridity. If you got five correct answers out of five, you did great! Congratulations! I would like to thank each one of you who viewed us live on television and social media. As promised, here's a featured artwork from Jalmila May Mesa of Escalante City, one of our learners. She used paper quills for her art and sold her artworks to help those who were hit by Typhoon Ulysses. I also have here the work of Mary Antaboy. She uses soap as a medium in sculpture. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been my pleasure teaching you for the past eight weeks. Oh my, how time flies! Just in case you have missed our lessons, you can visit the DepEd Official YouTube account or you can visit the DepEd Official on Facebook. To so all teachers of contemporary arts, Please do send artworks of your outstanding students on our Art Tita page on Facebook and we can have their works featured in our future lessons. Thank you so much. I enjoyed learning with you. I am your Art Tita, Teacher Joanne. Stay safe and God bless.